Jürgen, thank you so much for joining us here at Super Return International. Thank you for having me. The current environment is a challenging one, but from what I've heard you say on your panel there, you're quite optimistic despite the challenges there are. I think you're right. So, first of all, there are many reasons to be uh, concerned. There is uh, a rapid rise in interest rates as a consequence of rising inflation rates. There's the availability of credit, which is much less than what we've seen in, in, in the recent years. However, there is a silver lining. One, I think most companies enter the current phase uh, of economic growth more resilient than they used to be. There is uh, a strong backdrop of, of earnings. Companies' balance sheet are overall healthy. Uh, and then there is, there is pockets of growth, which we as Blackstone have been particularly focused on, which is, uh, for example, energy transition, it's life sciences, digitalization of, of consumer, just to name a few of the, the topics and the investment themes we have been pursuing. And I think those themes have been proven quite resilient and will actually accelerate in the years to come. So how are you seeing strategies evolve? Mm -hmm. You've talked about resilience in those companies, which is great, but how do your strategies change in terms of private equity? Yeah. So our strategy hasn't really uh, changed much. So it's, it's probably an evolution more than, than anything else, but, but we've been always focused very much on how do we generate alpha versus, versus just beta? And this starts with a, actually the selection of assets, right? How do you invest in, as we like to call it, the good neighborhoods, uh, which are secular growing areas of the economy, um, like the energy transition? Um, and then lastly, how do we create, together with, in partnership with management, how do we create uh, value at those companies, the alpha generation? Um, and that has been focused on uh, operational improvement, but also transformational strategic improvements of, of businesses, uh, which is a nice thing as we are patient capital, we have uh, multiple years, we don't need to uh, abide by quarterly earnings, um, which is all very, very positive. We as Blackstone, we have invested tremendously in these capabilities. Over the last decade, we've built out a team of more than 100 people at this stage, which do anything from ESG um, to uh, digitalization, data sciences, procurement uh, and supply chain management, to just name a few. What you described there are the longer holding periods. Tell me about that and that's a theme, presumably, that you expect to see going on for a, for a while now. Yeah, I think there's, there's many different strategies, of course, and as the, the private equity industry is widening, I think you see everything from uh, going from closed-end funds to evergreen funds and, and like as we like to call it, core funds, which are longer term holding. Uh, investments where you really invest behind a secular growth uh, trend in, in a certain industry or business. I think the value generation itself will also require that we do what we have advertised, we invest for four to six years uh, time frames, which should be enough if you, if you come prepared to, uh, to, to help making these companies better and, 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 and put them on a good uh, footing for the future. Um, and I think that the, the time of, of these quicker flips, as they're sometimes called, I think that will be more difficult to see uh, in the years to come. With all of that in mind, where are you preferring to deploy capital in Europe yeah. at the moment? I mean, we, we have been, as, as you said, not as a, as a revolution, but more like an evolution, investing behind uh, a number of themes. I personally spend a lot of time on the energy transition indeed, where we think the decarbonization, which we obviously all facing with, uh, requires a tremendous amount of, of investments. Uh, for example, we, we, be, we studies say to get to net zero by 2050, between three and a half and five billion dollars need to be invested every year, uh, which obviously is a big challenge. Private capital can play a big role in that, uh, as in partnership with, with governments and, and, and uh, industry associations. Uh, and we'd be ready to take that, uh, that challenge. It'd be nice to feel that this industry was contributing on that sort of global level, wouldn't it? Right, I think the, 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 the amounts of investments we have put down, whether it's clean power generation, but then also investments into the net infrastructure or the, the, in the grid infrastructure is, is very important, right? And, and I think there is, there is the need for that and, and creating and backing these companies for the long term can be profitable. There are 4,000 members of your industry here in Berlin this week. A fantastic chance for you to have some of those key conversations. Absolutely, and I'm looking forward to that. It's a great event. I've been here many years. Uh, I think Super Return International is, uh, is, is one of the leading uh, uh, forums in, in the world. Jürgen, thank you so much for joining us. It's great to have you here. No, thank you for your time. Thank you again. Mm -hmm.